Hello, my darlings. Cancer, welcome to your autumn reading. Let's see what wishes to come out for you today. I'm using the Wildwood Tarot, and uh, one card's already come out for you today. And uh, we are going to see where you are presently uh, leading into autumn energetically and in your reality. And then we're going to have a sneak peek with my Animal Tarot at next year to see what spirit wishes to show you for next year. If the reading resonates, my darling, you are remembering in divine timing what you already know. It's a message for you in perfect plan, in divine timing. And if it does resonate and you would like to know a little bit more, go a little bit deeper, uh, do click on the reading link in the description box below and you can book a personal reading with me. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, do hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to join, I do offer uh, some lovely perks for being a member of this Veritas Tarot channel. So my darlings, for cancer, for those that most need to hear the message, we've already got number 18, the guardian that's come out for you. Thank you, Spirit. What else wishes to come out? The witch of fire. Very interesting. You are beginning to not feel so constricted by things. The 10 of fire. Thank you. One more, please. Too many cards. The bottom of deck, the overriding energy, that one. And the four of swords. So my darling, uh, this is the overriding energy, the four of swords, first of all. Um, here you can see, do you see just up there, there's a little eagle. Eagles nest up four wonderful trees. I can't remember the name of those trees. Is it cypress? It's something like that. Anyway, this is a reminder, despite, because you've got here the witch of fire and the ten of fire, despite your enthusiasm sometimes, because uh, you're very enthusiastic and you're very ready to fly in whichever direction that uh, you feel is a great direction for you to go in, Spirit is asking you at this time just to remember the importance of rest of sanctuary, of removing yourself from um, others, that you can't keep continuing all the time to be on the hunt, let's put it that way, continuing searching, continuing see seeking. So there is great power in choosing to rest, reflect, and then feel refreshed moving forward. The Four of Swords is generally a healing card, and the Eagle is one that is seen as a messenger. So whatever you're doing yourself at the time, this time, it is in a space where if you're not doing this, Spirit is encouraging you, but I feel you are doing this because this Eagle is already in this tree. It's a, it's a, it's a space where you have kind of come away from things, you've withdrawn from things in order to protect your energy, protect your emotion, maybe you're feeling a little bit drained at this time. And, and it's about you not wishing to be involved in any conflict. You see the eagle gets, the only bird that attacks the eagle is the crow, but the eagle doesn't respond, it just, or react, it just flies higher and higher and higher, and eventually the crow falls away. So the crow is a symbolism of maybe negative things that you feel are sort of or energies that are that are pulling on you at this time and spirit wants you just to focus on yourself and focus on the way forward but also to give yourself this gift of time and space where you are right now and then in that space of reflection you might then as the witch of fire the queen of fire here receive that insight about and have that insight and that foresight you know, I feel like you have the gift of sight. You understand what you're seeing. You under you can see through things. The eagle has an amazing sight to it. So this is a message that you, what are you seeing at this moment in time? It's not out of your reach because you're the eagle. You can reach it with ease, but it is a reminder for you about resting at this time. Uh, take this time to view the world from that place of sanctuary, that place of rest, and that place of your gift of, of inner sight and higher self. So that is that card. Then it's you've got the guardian card, which is the very first one that came out. So this is a wonderful energy space to be in. This is a card of hope, a card of um, harmony with where you are in your life, a card of determination, a card of problem solving, a card of nurturing. I can also spot there are two little... Um, doves up in the in the tree there do you see so this is a card of having those relationships that are connected are soul connected are understood are nurturing are peaceful so all of this is something that you have created in your life and there is a determination with you within you 
And it's a reminder for from spirit to respect yourself, to say thank you to you for where you are right now. Because you have achieved this, you have caused this, you have created this, you have seen yourself as part of an integral part of everything else. You are viewing life from this perspective, that you are life itself experiencing itself and you choose, I'm sorry about my little doggy snoring, you are choosing to see yourself and observe. So you are living life consciously at this time, Cancer, which is lovely. And because of that, you've got this wonderful witch of fire. And I feel with this, that there's a spur constrictor here, but it's not constricting all of her. She has this arm here, which is out to uh, receive so you have done a lot of work on thinking about what you truly deserve what you truly truly want and how you can receive that and in order to know what you truly want you have to know yourself first and so you are in this space of really truly beginning to get to know yourself and to understand what your trigger points are when you might react to things where that's coming from that reaction understanding what uh, really excites you and makes you happy understanding the relationships you have with other there's been a lot of releasing that you have done with this burr constrictor and where you might have felt constricted about doing certain things in the past that has gone and now you have a freedom of expression that you didn't have before out of fear perhaps where it might take you um it's it's like your throat chakra has opened up and you're not feeling um there's nothing being suppressed now you you have a way of speaking that's very very beautiful and the witch of fire is is somebody who is driven by desire to change driven by desire to know is somebody who is driven by the seeking the questions is on a quest all of these are applicable to you um, so this is a wonderful place to be in right now. And then you've got the Ten of Fire, which is the Ten of Wands. And my, what is coming to me is what will be will be. And just to, um, you're not, you're not saying you're not responsible. You're not saying that you don't care um, or treasure um, the relationships that you have around you, each and every one of them you see as a sacred space. You see them as something that is got its own fire, its own energy. You understand the connection between you and another and what might come of that connection. Um, you understand you're, you're, you're very living life consciously is what I, I, I keep receiving and you're able to observe and so this ten of fire this ten of wands is not a burden anymore by what you would have seen as responsibilities for others but actually beginning to see the wood for the trees and so therefore you're not looking to control any of these relationships anymore you're just present within them understanding that each and every one is a soul who has oh my internet connection is unstable so i trust it's going to be okay understanding that each and every one of these relationships is uh there is something beautiful happening at a soul level for you so this is really rather lovely so control on so now my darlings let's have a look at um where's my tarot here we are let's have a look using the animal tarot at what is uh coming in for you for next year what spirit wants you to know or just to observe for next year uh thank you let's put those over there so they're not in the way put that up there so let's look at this well actually we're just going to pull some cards aren't we let's have a look thank you for cancer spirit what do you wish them to know for this reading for next year that one to come out justice So something, thank you, Spirit. The two of wands, two of spring. Seven of autumn. And one more card, please. Thank you. The five of spring. So first of all, the two of summers on the bottom of the deck and this reminds me where is that little card do you remember seeing here the two little doves here and now you've got the two little doves here 
So the overriding energy for next year is, is one of um, some form of relationship for you that is a real soul connected relationship. Um, there is a purpose to it that is much deeper than a, a sort of what we may perceive at a surface level of our identity and personality. Uh, a reminder here, and this is funny because I think this came out in one of the readings I've done uh, for one of the other star signs recently, is the need to listen to understand, not just to reply, because parrots have a tendency to parrot and to talk and not really to listen. So, but this is the two of cups here. This is something that is flourishing for you. If you choose to understand that this is a relationship that's based on a, um, a like-minded a person who has chosen to be in your life at this time and you with them. And um, you are both committed to this, um, but there is, there is a need for you to, to understand that this relationship has an interdependent, not a codependence, an interdependence to it. The relationship is there for you to understand more about yourself and equally for them as well so don't give up on this relationship just see it through new eyes that it's not there for you to f feel love for another it's there for you to feel love for yourself because actually when we think we've fallen in love with somebody and when we're in that sort of honeymoon period of falling in love we experience those extraordinary feelings of love well actually we're experiencing who we are we're not experiencing who that person is that we're loving. We're actually experiencing what it is to, to, to be in that state of love because that is who we are as an energy. And um, so it is to remind you that as two souls, you've come together for a reason, for a beautiful soul gift. It is to help both of you um, fly. I mean, this is the expression I'm getting here. Um, and you're both reflecting a lot of each other in each other at this time. So along with that, you've got justice. So whatever you've been concerned about with regards this relationship, whatever this relationship may mean for you, it could be a romantic one, it could be a friend one, it could be one to do with family or children, but whatever it is, it is asking you to remember without anger. I'm so sorry, my phone is still on and I don't like it when I forget to do that. Uh, so let me just press, do not disturb it, it is okay. So whatever this you do, this is asking you to look back at the past without anger, to forgive whatever you feel may have been some form of distress or something that's happened in this relationship that has caused you upset. And to look back on it without being angry, to look back on it rather with, okay, so, so this happened, I've attracted this experience into my life. What, it, what am I going to take from it as a gift? What am I going to release within me that has been reacting to this? Because we tend to have that emerging pattern in our life. And to look at it fairly from all sides, to, to, uh, to, to, to see it from both sides, to understand it. To, so to understand something is to stand in the truth of something, but to really truly understand it, you have to look at the other side of it, the underside of it. Um, so what is making up the pattern of this relationship? What toing and froing is happening? Because sometimes you can't see things, but you can hear things. And sometimes you can hear things, but can't see things. And everything is relative, my darling. It's the law of relativity. So you may be perceiving something very different to how somebody else is perceiving something. And nothing has any meaning except for the meaning that we give it. So what meaning are you attaching to things that might be unfair? And the same with the other person or other people, what might they be doing, attaching meaning to things that you may feel is unfair, but everybody is right because everybody is seeing it from their perspective and their perspective is exactly where they're meant to be in life. So it's about sort of stepping back from the anger and looking at it from a sense of, okay, so that's happened. I understand why it's happened. I'm not going to forget it's happened. I'm not going to encourage it to happen again. And I'm going to do what I can for my part to uh, to come to a uh, to come to an, uh, an understanding. Um, and the justice card is, you know, it represents justice. It represents something that's fair for all. And that's looking at all sides of the argument like a judge would do and making considered choices based on what is being presented. So that's what you're being asked to do today. Where is that card? Oh, it's here. Um, so uh, that is that. And then alongside that, 
And that's why I feel with this two of summer, this two of cups with these parrots, trying to listen. I, I just did a reading today about listening to understand, not just to reply. So this message seems to be coming out a lot today. Um, so along with that, you've got the, the two of spring, which is uh, the two of wands. So this for me is saying you've already kind of made a decision on something and it's already flowing. It, it, you've already the universe is flowing this towards you at this time. Um, and the other thing to, to remember with this is that if you haven't consciously made a decision, what have you been subconsciously immersed in within your feelings? What have you sort of almost like the pelican been gulping down emotionally and sending to your subconscious? Because your subconscious is what is creating your reality. And if the subconscious receives information from you about things that you might be feeling negative about, it'll just reproduce that for you. So that's why when people complain about things all the time, they always seem to have something to complain about. Likewise, if people always seem to be happy, they always attract things that are really good. So in its simplest form, that's the law of attract attraction. So within this space with the pelican, what have you been kind of either swallowing words that you haven't been able to express uh, swallowing your emotions because it is submerging into your subconscious it's flooding your subconscious at this moment and there is some form of conscious subconscious decision that you've put out there maybe consciously as well maybe you're very aware of it but this is just a point of time to you to think about things because it's already in motion as I said you've got here the seven of autumn which is the seven of pentacles with this lovely cow looking here and this is a reminder that things are already um um shooting up things are already starting to grow things are already starting to appear that shift and change in your reality and in fact the grass here is quite tall so it may be things that you haven't observed in your life that are the little changes that we don't tend to notice grass do we little changes that are happening now maybe this is more in a sense of what is happening for you from a nurturing point of view because the cow represents that um but whatever you have been doing to nurture this situation, to nurture um, changes in your life, whatever you've been putting out there, my darling, with that two of wands, uh, you, it's, it's a message for you that it's starting to come in for you and actually to take notice of what actually is. Because sometimes we have this almost childlike thing, isn't it, that we want, we wish to manifest something. And then we kind of almost want it to appear all in one day or one go. And it doesn't really work like that. It, it's about observing the changes that are happening in your life that are facilitating that change that you have foreplanned, foreseen for your future. And so the universe will shift accordingly in order to make those changes for you, in order to facilitate what it is that you're wishing to bring in. So just to see what's happening in your life right now that you may be taking you, you either haven't noticed or may suddenly, like this lovely cow here, be taking you by surprise because things aren't quite as black and white as they seem, is what Spirit is saying. And then you've got this five of spring and I think this fell on top uh, of uh, the four of air and the two of summer the two of cups so this is a reminder that however confident people might seem however passionate people might seem however confident or passionate you might seem for the most part everybody when they are not in a state of awareness and responding to life living life consciously they are reacting to life and this is ego fighting ego. And so it's a reminder just to bring yourself back from that space that despite people's confidence, despite people's presenting this persona to the world, actually hidden away behind that tends to be within every single person, some form of anxiety or worry or stress or conditioned reaction to life that comes from deeply rooted patterns of behavior that go back to when we were all very little and it is when we can consciously come back from that and observe that we've done that that half the battle is won we're not reacting to life we're living life consciously so um i think that's really rather lovely let me just pull for you i feel like pulling what do i feel like pulling uh, I had my spirit song today so let's see what spirit song has for you so this so just looking ahead there's something you're manifesting, consciously or subconsciously, it's already happened, it's already on its way. Um, the seven of autumn, start to have a think about what is changing in your life. It, there is 
an energy around you at this time with the two of cups it's a it's a very strong energy it's a soulmate relationship whatever that may mean for you you need to it's it's about uh, understanding it's part of what you have manifested into your existence try to to um look at why this relationship is in your life aside from the feelings that it gives you on from a reality point of view in terms of everyday feelings and look for the deeper meaning behind it um but spirit is asking you to do some at the moment some form of relaxing and receiving because there is something coming in so i'm going to pull something for this two of wands and it's something that's going to be lovely and fair it's going to be fair for all thank you spirit tell me more about this two of spring page of pentacles and the high priestess well they're kind of saying it with a bit of wink because you've got the high priestess at the bottom of the deck be content with the not knowing they're saying be content to observe this lynx cat is very very relaxed but it's something really rather special that's coming in and they're saying you know what all's going to be revealed when it's meant to be revealed this is a little uh, surprise and delight because this is the page of pentacles the page of crystals the fox this is whatever you have felt has been a problem which is generally something that hasn't worked out the way that we wish for it to work out there's going to be a solution to it there's going to be a way of resolving this problem and uh you are going to be able to literally uh kind of i keep getting that wood for the trees so you're going to be able to see the wood for the trees about something as well i'm going to push them a little bit further and see if there's anything else thank you spirit anything else you'd like to say about this two of spring you know spring is about shoots of growth and manifesting so thank you yeah <laughs> okay bottom of the deck queen of swords uh other side on the other side you've got the king of pentacles and in the middle you've got the tower so and i love these cards here is the king of crystals i feel this is the other person in this okay somebody who is um the tiger is amazing the tiger is about protection the tiger is about that wonderful softly padded approach to life it's about somebody who's very good at achieving things you know things just seem to magically happen the tiger likes their solitude the tiger um uh, is not terribly good at sometimes at um showing affection but there is there is a, a wonderful sort of majestic aloofness about them so this is the king of pentacles on one side but he's very intent on staring and I've just been noticing that the, the words on the bottom, courage and commitment. So um, he's very intent on staring at the Queen of Feathers, which is you. So there is a, a commitment there and there is a strength to this as well. You are very, very different, but also very similar. Do you remember I said about the parrots? You're different, but similar. You've got sort of different markings on you. But the Queen of Feather, perception and truth. Spirit is saying, this is next year, and you've got the tower in between you. There is going to be a revelation of sorts. There is going to be a dismantling of a, a certain structure you had between you, a certain energetic structure you had between you. And it's going to be something that you are manifesting right now. And it's going to be something that's going to solve problems because you've got the page of crystals, the, the fox here. And the universe is asking you to embrace the change that this relationship is going to bring you or you can resist it but if you resist it you're going to exhaust yourself emotionally trying to hold on to something that isn't what it's meant to be anymore and i'm not seeing you both moving apart but what i am seeing you is is that this whatever this thing is that you're manifesting it's going to encourage you let's put it that way to go with the flow of it to see what evolves because there is revelations and revelations are a very powerful word it's something that is revealed in a sort of majestic timing in divine timing in the perfect plan it's a divine intervention and the chameleon my darling is the is is considered a master of adaptation so you are are encouraged to 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 adapt to to blend to blend in to observe like the high priestess to see you to witness what is happening and you my love are coming into this space of the queen of swords perception and truth you know you are going to cut through all of it you're going to see it like the bat the bat has the ability to cut through the darkness and see it and this is the queen of 
swords. This is you coming into a space where you can express yourself. You're not just repeating things like the parrot. Um, and, you know, I saw you as the witch of fire earlier where I felt that, you know, things where you weren't feeling so restricted. Well, that power of speech, that power of, of speaking without fear of um, reprisal or what people might think, that is going to get stronger and stronger. And your perception to not only see the truth, but you're going to feel it as well. You can see through things. And this is wonderful as the Queen of Swords. So, it, and it's very much in line with the energy of the King of Pentacles here. The King of Pentacles is relaxed and everything. The, 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 the bat here with the Queen of Swords is one who says, you know what, that's absolutely fine. Um, but I, I, I need to express myself. And you can listen and I will also listen to you, but you'll be able to see things from a different way. You know, the bat hangs upside down. So you're going to see things from all angles. You're going to be able to understand everything. And you're not afraid of kind of going through times like the tower, which are going to encourage the development of this relationship. One last card, please. Thank you for this. Thank you. The seven of cups, all sorts of possibilities and choices for you, all sorts of different. Um, this is a the lobster here talks about the expansion of this duality of this relationship, the expansion of it. The lobster doesn't grow until it's forced. It gets so uncomfortable in its shell, it's forced to grow out of it. And this is where you both are, I feel, this, this little, these little turtle doves that are sitting there. And then you've got the two of cups, wherever it is. Where is that two of cups? There we go, the two of cups here. You're being asked to spread your wings, to fly, to, 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 to expand on what you already have. But there's lots of choices, okay? There's lots of choices to do this. Um, and both of you are searching for, for whatever purpose, but this is possibilities for you, darling. Lots of lovely possibilities. Uh, one last card, please. Thank you for cancer. Queen of Acorns. Um, Queen of Acorns. You, my darling, this is the Queen of Wands. You, the, run free with this. See where it takes you. See where this relationship takes you. Don't worry about what it is not. Focus on what it is, um, because focusing on the not part of it is just going to bring you nothing. Um, oh, thank you, Spirit. <laughs> focusing on the what it is is going to bring you everything. Um, so there is a reason for why it is what it is for you at this time. And the Queen of Acorns, the Queen of Wands, is, you know, keep uh, keep embracing this, keep embracing it, keep fueling it with your energy. You've got boundless energy, but, you know, like this, this deer here, but also understanding that, that people have different energetic, um, they have different ener energy points at various points of their life or various points of their day. And, you may have boundless energy at one point, but your King of Pentacles may be just wanting to lounge around like the tiger. So um, you're very creative, you're very clever, um, and try and just understand that what you're creating at the moment is already manifesting for you. So apply where you're putting your creative desires. Um, be mindful of what you're manifesting for your dreams at this time. Um, and, um, and also, you know, run free with this, uh, give out a radiation, a, a high vibration of self-confidence, because all of this is for you, my darling, um, and you are ruled by the heart, and this reading is one where you are taking the time to discover with enthusiasm who you are um, and why you're here, and also what this relationship is for you. So I trust that has helped uh, those that have resonated with this reading. I look forward, my darlings, to do another reading for you very soon. In the meantime, enjoy my daily readings, and do hit that subscribe button or the join button if you haven't done so yet so much love my darlings take care Bye.